sugar, flour, <laughs> butter, cheese. Okay, you do need a little bit of equipment. You need a cheese grater. You can use your box grater, large holes. You need a bench scraper. If you don't have one, use a metal spatula. Digital scale is a good thing. I will give you all of the conversions in cups. I mean, no special equipment. I feel like people who cook have these things, but then they wanna bake and they don't have the other things. So you don't need a food processor and you don't need a stand mixer and you don't need a rolling pin, which I feel like people only get if they're like gonna bake and you don't need to bake. I love this cheese. This is Cabot Seriously Sharp Cheddar. Unpaid. Not that I wouldn't be opposed to getting paid. Large holes, box grater. So my mom used to make an apple pie and it had cheddar in it. And I always thought it was so crazy. Apparently it's not. It's like a total American thing, but it totally makes sense. Did you ever snack on cheese and apples? So it's like that, but in pie form. The butter is cold and I want it in a about um, tablespoon size pieces. Everybody's going in and I'm just tossing everything around. The key thing I'm doing here is coating the butter with flour. Now for the fun part. So this technique is called fraisage or fraisère in French. When it gets translated to English, they just say smear, okay? These nice flour encased pieces of butter, I'm just gonna find them. I'm gonna use the heel of my hand to press the butter flat. And so if you've ever made my flaky pastry dough from where cooking begins, that first step is you use the rolling pin to do this, the flattening. And then I was like, why can't I be the rolling pin? Be the rolling pin. Okay, so once the butters, I've located all of my butter hunks. So hunky, did you see them? They were super cute. They're mostly flattened, nothing mage, not paper thin, but like this. Scraper, just corralling everybody, okay? And I'm also, some of the butter when I press down, pressed through its little flour encasement and made connection with the, um, countertop and so I'm just pulling those up off the counter. Keeping everything really cold is gonna keep the butter from melting. The butter not being melted is gonna help the butter be in sheets. The butter being in sheets is gonna lead to the flakiness. All right, the water has been added. I'm gonna use the bench scraper in the dominant hand, the other hand just for keeping everybody from sliding all over the place and we're just tossing. Trying to get the water everywhere. It doesn't have to be like evenly absorbed. It's still going to look crazy crumbly, crazy dry as it does. That is fine. You can see some of the butter like as it was getting tossed like got pushed back together and kind of mounded up again. That's totally fine. It's going to get, it's, it's about to meet its maker. So, so I think in the recipe I said to make a tidy mountain. Come saw. Again, the old heel of the hand. Also great for heel strikes. Great for, um, I don't know, pushing the door open. Uh, lots of things you might have to do with the heel of your hand. Side plank. <laughs> Side plank, so important. Um, yeah, comment, comment below. What you use <laughs> your hand heel for? Yeah, what the do you comment section's gonna go crazy. Okay, smearing and pushing. Smearing and pushing, smearing and pushing. It's like a side stroke. The goal is that the butter and the flour are like having a union now, really smearing together so that they fuse. And in this, the butter is going to be encasing the flour is encasing the butter. Does not look like dough. Tidy mountain. And as I do this, there's gonna be less floury bits and more kind of dough union. I don't know how else to say it. So what I'm looking for is most of the dough is together. I could pick it up, squeeze it. It's holding in a crumbly way, but it's totally holding. Um, and there's still 
some irregularity to it. I don't want it totally homogenous. We're moving freely on the surface. Nobody's stuck. And then I'm going to use my hands and definitely not like going super gentle. I, everybody needs to come together now. Okay. She's together. She's crumbly. You can see there's cracks in the network. Um, that's okay. I'm going to use the plastic as like a kind of a, a guide and a girdle to like pull it together, circulating, turning, and I'm pressing in as I press down with this hand. So the old tuck and press. We don't need fancy French words here. <laughs> It's all the things you want. <laughs>